Thank you, Jamie. And hello, everybody. It is a great honor to be here this evening and to get to represent the jury, to, to um, present the award sort of to Dr. Robinson, but I will explain. She is an outstanding individual who has made an indelible mark on the world, as you all know, and I hope that I've been lucky to get to interact with her in some different situations, and she is just brilliant and comfortable and impactful in every single environment. Dr. Robinson is an intersectional leader who has demonstrated the power of inclusion where exclusion once reigned. As the first woman president of Ireland, she advocated for gender equality, LBGTQ plus rights, and the rights of refugees and immigrants. Her notable contributions to peace building include helping broker the Good Friday Agreement, which established a power sharing government in Northern Ireland. Her leadership extends to climate change, where she's been a strong voice in global efforts to address the issue. As a former UN Special Envoy on climate change, she's led initiatives that promote climate justice and empower vulnerable communities. As such, the Mary Robinson Foundation, DATCH, Climate Justice, which she founded in 2010, became a platform for solidarity, partnership, and shared engagement of all stakeholders, working tirelessly to promote the rights of those most affected by climate change, including and especially women and indigenous peoples. As chair of the elders, the best name ever, Dr. Robinson has been a vocal advocate for climate justice, urging world leaders to take immediate and bold action to address this urgent threat to humanity. She believes that human rights are fundamental to development rather than in contrast to it, and works to ensure the rights of all people are respected and protected. She's not given up on this belief, even in today's polarized world where divisions and animosity among us are more evident than ever. Dr. Robinson recently co-founded the Dandelion Project and wrote a book entitled Climate Justice. Further examples of her multifaceted leadership grounded in inclusion, sustainable development, and equity. Few people say anything better than former President Barack Obama, who awarded her the US Presidential Medal of Freedom with praise for Dr. Robinson as an advocate for the forgotten and the ignored, noting that she has not only shown a light on human suffering, but illuminated a better future for our world. While Mary cannot be her here herself this evening, I'm delighted to welcome Pat Mitchell to the stage to accept the award on Mary's behalf. Pat is co-founder and managing partner of Connected Women Leaders and co-founder, curator, and host of TED Women, and a colleague of Mary's on many initiatives. She's also a friend of my mother who's called twice during this dinner. I guess assuming that I'm gonna pick up and put her on the phone, which I am not going to, Pat. But I will welcome you to come up here and accept Mary's award, please. I'm just gonna sort of present it to you. It's right. quite heavy, and Ooh. I know you're capable of all things, but are you good? I, yes, I'm good. You're good. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is quite heavy. Do you mind if I put it back? <laughs> but I will certainly, with your help, ensure that Mary receives it. And Valerie, thank you so much for also saying so much about Mary's accomplishments, because the only instruction that Mary gave me about accepting this award on her behalf was Please don't overdo it. <laughs> she knows how easy it is to overdo it when praising someone whose leadership has done so much for the world and for whom praise is most certainly deserved. Mary is among one of the most admired leaders in the world and for all good reasons, reasons that led Peggy and Valerie and the Sinergos community to honor her, but what I think she values most, that she has always seen herself as a leader who could bridge to others, bridge differences, um, and in many ways create, as Valerie said, a more inclusive world. Mary, not surprisingly though, did want me to acknowledge her admiration for the important leadership that the Rockefeller family and all the other bridging leaders who in this room who are being honored have supported. 
She asked me to mention that she first met David Rockefeller through the, tri uh, the Trilateral Commission, David, which was formed in the 70s, and Mary was invited to be the Irish executive member, a member, a memory she holds very dear. And she also remembered, Valerie, that you were among the very first people to step up and stand beside her as she decided climate justice was her new commitment to the world. And she wanted to say a great big note of gratitude to you for that. Like all challenges that Mary has chosen in her life, she has seen climate justice and the urgency of elevating the timeline of this climate crisis to create a climate safe world for everyone. She's creating these new alliances among women leaders, those who are leading from the ground and the grassroots and the front lines, to those with power to change the policies and take the actions that are necessary. She's also engaging new leaders in the way that Mary can do so well with a passion and a commitment that is undeniable. And as the chair of the elders, she can speak across geographies and generations. Many of us know personally in this room that it is simply not possible to say no to Mary Robinson. She very directly challenged me on this point and a community of women leaders that we must, in fact, prioritize climate justice and see it as the intersectional issue of all social justice issues and to step up to the opportunity to create what Mary says and believes could be our best times ahead. So with the encouragement and the support of the communities and the leaders who are in this room and the work that's represented in this room, I feel, and Mary said to assure you, she believes that those times are within our reach. On behalf of my leader in this work and a woman I would follow across any bridge, gratitude for the award and for the work that's represented among all of us as we seek to build a more equitable, just bridge to a more inclusive future, our best times ahead. Thank you. Thank you.